Okay, we got baby goats. Baby goats. Hey everyone, so it's spring. Hey, finally spring in the Pacific Northwest. Here, I'm going to show you. <clears throat> We're on old, old country road. Um, look how green it is. Clouds and... Yes, that's a river. That is the Chehalis River. There was a critter walking down the road. I don't know what happened to the critter. We have a lot of errands to do today. And uh, this is my little walk and talk since we've been out walking and walking the dogs. On uh, just actually the beauty of nature. And why no one should have to give up their home. Uh, right here where, where we're at, there's ranchers that ranch. Right here. Well, there's nothing out here. On down that way. There's a lot of ranchers around this whole windy road. Um, and really old buildings. It's really cool. I would... Uh, <laughs> it's actually beautiful out here. On the other side, it, it is a flood zone. And this is why the um, what you see here is growing so well. Let's see if I can go over there. And you see water over there. Um, the Chehalis River uh, flooded very bad about three weeks, four weeks ago when we had, I guess we were just talking to some people. The reason we're up here, we went and talked uh, to see some friends. Um, our local paper said, oh, wettest season was March, 14 inches of rain. And we, we had... We have a rain rain gauge, and it had said we had, shoot, I know over 20 inches, and they said 28 inches at their house, so I don't know who's calculating this stuff. But this is actually very beautiful out here, and um, I just wanted to show you the beauty right now of um, Washington State in the spring, and how we all should support the other rancher who's running his cows on our land. The Department of Interior now thinks everything belongs to them. And that's just BS. If, if, it's a kind of a weird if on if we could make it out there this weekend. Um, it depends on a lot of things. However, if we can, we will be coming. Um, but yes, it's a beautiful day, and we got away from all the junk noise. You know, the noise that comes from being inside with the computer going on all the time. Just going, hanging out. Here, show you the little two regrets we have out here investigating every smell. Lacey is one of the, Lacey will go down there and get in the river. Hey, you're not going to go down there and get in it? Where is your little, where's your cohort? Ah. So anyway, support, support the ranchers, support the farmers. I know there's one in Michigan also going through something similar. And probably all over. I imagine there's someone in our state going through this. I mean, we went through it before where we weren't supposed to plant our garden near a creek or a ditch. But, it, well, it does have a little fish now in it, so I guess it would be a creek. However, um, we went to the Agenda 21 meeting, and we pushed back, and we got to plant an organic garden. And I have to tell you, even though we live in the Pacific Northwest, we did remove about three foot of the topsoil and we had the best garden we'd ever had last year. We have used greenhouses in the past. The skies today, well, they were spraying really bad, but out here where we are, I don't know if you can see this, 
Ah, well, you can see the muck up there. But they do have little clouds out here. It just looks beautiful. I mean, I just feel like this is it. This is like a nice place. I would actually live out here, except knowing this river well exceeded its flood stage about a month ago. And right now it's still actually running kind of high. So, just wanted to say, support all ranchers, especially the one in Nevada. The Native Americans are getting on board with this. I uh, thought I'd throw that in. I saw um, West Coast Natives of British Columbia had posted something on this. Because what happens to one of us happens to all of us. And we have to look at it that way. We're all in this together. All right, as I was saying, we, um, the West Coast natives from uh, Vancouver, B.C. are supporting this, and a lot of other nations are too. We are all connected. We need to stand united, no matter what place we're in. Uh, Kenny's picking up the trash. Money. Um, anyway, just, um, oh, I wanted to tell you, I'm going to leave some links because... Um, there's Agenda 21, and there's also other UN projects that each country's doing. In our country, I think Russia is Russia 20, 2045, America 2050, and these have maps. They're called mega regions, and it's going to show you where they're going to herd the populace. And I'm going to leave those links below. Um, <clears throat> I heard they're also going to do windmills in uh, Nevada. That would probably fail there. Um, they seem to fail everywhere, and they would disrupt the wildlife. Also, there is minerals under that ground. Just saying, I looked up the mining companies and who's involved. I have left that several times, and I'll leave that link below, too. That's a holly tree, a holly bush right back here. Um, I was actually trying to see if I could find some, um, I know there's black berries, but we have salmon berries. We have all kind of berries, if that may be true, Marion berries. And I was trying to see if I could find some of those bushes so I'd know where to come kite some uh, salmon berries and Marion berries. Anyway, <clears throat> we're going to head on out, probably head towards the house. We've been walking around doing our thing today. And I hope everybody gets out and enjoy some fresh air. It's good. <clears throat> I will let everybody know if we're going to go. We're going to do our damnedest, I'm going to tell you that, to get there. Um, anyway, keep the fire for living free in your heart always. Have a good one.